happy Wednesday, everybody. Today's story is, uh, it's called Six Dinner Sid by Inga Moore. I happen to know that this is one of Mrs. Kenny's favorite stories. And um, it tells some adventures of this cat. This is Sid. And he is super tricky. And you'll see how he's tricking all the humans in his life. Six Dinner Sid. And sometimes I have two cats here at my house, and I wonder if they do this too. And there's Sid. You can see him. Sid lived at number one, Aristotle Street. Yeah, go this way. Um, he also lived at number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Hmm. How is that possible? He has more than one house? Does he belong to more than one family? Let's read to find out. Sid lived in six houses so that he could have six dinners. Each night he would slip out of number one, where he might have had chicken, into number two for fish, on to number three for lamb, liver at number four, fish again at number five, ending at number six with beef and kidney stew. <laughs> Can you see? Look how stuffed his belly is at the end there. After six dinners. Imagine eating six dinners. Since the neighbors did not talk to each other on Aristotle Street, they did not know what Sid was up to. They all believed the cat they fed was theirs and theirs alone. But we know different. But Sid had to work hard for those six dinners. It wasn't easy being six people's pet. He had six different names to remember and six different ways to behave. When he was being scaramouche, Sid put on swanky airs. I want you to see this picture better. There you go. As Bob, he had a job. He was naughty as mischief and silly as Sally. As sooty, he smooched, but as Schwartz, he had to act rough and tough. Imagine that, imagine having to be six different people. It'd be hard. All this work sometimes wore Sid out, but he didn't care as long as he had his six dinners. And beside, he liked being scratched in six different places and sleeping in six different beds. I love this picture. Look at his face there. Isn't that great? Oh, it's like the best cat smile. I love that. In fact, life on Aristotle Street was just about perfect for Sid until... One cold, damp day, he caught a nasty cough. The next thing he knew, he was being taken to the vet. Poor Sid. He was taken not once, but how many times? How do you many times do you think he had to go to the vet? I bet you know. Not twice, but six times. He went with six different people in six different ways. Now the vet said Sid's cough wasn't nearly as nasty as it sounded, but to be on the safe side, he should have a spoonful of medicine. Of course, Sid didn't have just one spoonful of medicine. That's right, you can count them there, he had six. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six different times. Hmm. Now, one black cat does look much like another, but nobody, not even a busy vet, could see the same cat six times without becoming suspicious. Sure enough, when he, decide, when he checked on his appointment book, the vet found six cats with a cough 
all living on Aristotle Street. So he called the owners at once. And oh dear, Sid was found out. When they discovered what he had been up to, Sid's owners said he had no business eating so many dinners. They said, in the future, they would make sure he had only one dinner a day. And there it is, yep, see, you can see that he only gets one dinner now. Oh, but Sid, he was a six dinner a day cat. So he went to live at number one Pythagoras place. He also went to live at numbers two, three, four, five, and six. Unlike Aristotle Street, the people who lived on Pythagoras Place talked to their neighbors. So right from the start, everyone knew about Sid's six dinners. And because everybody knew, nobody minded. So it looks like they can all share Sid and he gets his six dinners every day. All right, I hope you don't eat six dinners today, but I hope you have a really good day. Eat one healthy good dinner and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.